Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Saroni, aka Moody Moo on social media. For those of you who don't know, I am an illustration artist. And in today's video, we are going to discuss how to digitize your artworks, as you might have already seen from the title of the video. So when I started out, um, I was I struggled a lot with finding a good way to do this. Uh, after a lot of trial and error, I finally found a good way to digitize my artworks. I also received a lot of questions on Instagram, a lot of DMs from you guys asking how do you digitize your artworks. So I thought to myself, why not earn me some good karma points and also help those of you who are just starting out and struggling with finding the right way to do this. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, you need to get a good notebook for yourself in which you can make your artwork. Um, get yourself a pencil, whatever pencil you're comfortable with. Start sketching. Hopefully you have an idea in mind by now. Obviously you need to decide that before you start this. Uh, start sketching make your artwork with pencil then take a fine liner so what i use is a stedler pigment liner uh, to line my artwork Then take an eraser and erase out all the extra pencil lines that you can see on on your artwork and then make and make sure that there are none left because once you transfer the artwork to the computer um, these pencil lines might create a problem while digitizing the artwork. Next, we are going to take our phones and take a picture of the artwork. Make sure there's no extra shadow that can be seen on the in the picture. Open the picture in Photoshop. Um, form another layer underneath it um, and fill it with a white background. Then what you're going to do is... Um, Click on the adjustment button that you can see on the bottom right corner uh, next to the masking option. Uh, create a new adjustment layer, go to levels and what we're going to do is so what we're going to do is increase the whites and increase the blacks uh, so that we can get a good contrast of black and white. Um, like such and then what we're going to do is uh, so go click on select from the top uh, top bar uh, click on color range the option that you can see then uh, click on the white part with the dropper tool and select invert so this is what it's going to look like and then once uh, you've selected that, click on the mask option and create a layer mask which will erase all the white part um, from, from your layer and all you'll be left with is the black outline uh, just like you would expect. Then what you can do is create another layer underneath and start coloring. That is really all. So I hope this video helps you create great artworks and I hope it helps you digitize your artwork more conveniently than you used to. So that's all for today's video guys. Uh, let me know in the comment section what other kind of tutorials you would like to see, what videos you like to see. Until then, bye!